for more explosive plays on offense. We'll see it right off the jump because Penn State has the ball. Northwestern won the toss. They deferred. Penn State receives. And after the Jack Olson kickoff, here's a run and a fumble. Nick Singleton lost the ball, and we won't see Penn State on offense to begin the game because they've turned it over for the first time this season. Four games and one play before the Nittany Lions commit turnover number one of 2023. Well, you mentioned it. I mean, they have been clean all year. That's been where so they've been. going to challenge the Northwestern offense. How do they respond? Bryant said they'd have an answer for zero. That looked like zero, so they throw the bubble, but Penn State was ready for it and flying downhill. See the numbers on Jack Olson this year. Two of two on field goals, made from 37 and 40, and now he's curled one in from 33 yards away. And so to go for it, despite the penalty moving it back five yards. We have five minutes left of the first quarter. Northwestern scored on the opening drive after Penn State fumbled the opening kickoff. And here's a throw on target for a first down. And they go to Dante Sipa's second catch of the game. This one of significance, 15 yards and converting a fourth and six. So look at here he is. He's going to be running a dig right over the middle of the field. So this is a good job by Drew Aller because watch that linebacker under Drew Aller just hasn't quite settled fully into the game yet. From Tulsa, Oklahoma, and a transfer from Columbia, Alex Smelkins is the kicker. And his 20-yard field goal has leveled the game at 3-3. And Drew Shelton is at right tackle right now rather than Caden Wallace, who is the starter at that position. Quick throw, caught, turning inside, and down to the 25 is Caden Saunders. There's Rod Hurd again. Yeah. But this is their fourth time of third and ten or more in the game. Now, they did get a key Ben Bryant scramble late in the game against Minnesota last week. He's not scrambling here, but he is throwing in the flat to an open Cam Porter who ran through two and three tackles and a first down. That is just tough running, Jake, after the catch and a third and ten. Test the discipline of the defense to see can you stick with your man even when he's not initially running the route. Well, there you see it, Abdul Carter. Extremely disciplined. Second down and ten, and Bryant underneath. Caught right in the breadbasket for Cam Johnson. Still going, and has a first and goal. Cam Johnson, and then they turned it over in the opening kickoff. And now, Duke Olgas, the tight end, lines up behind Ben Bryant on the quarterback sneak. Tries to push him forward, and there's the indication. It is a touchdown for the Northwestern Wildcats, and they go in front at home. They took a page out of Penn State's book, who took a page out of the Eagles' book. It's a copycat league, and if something works, why not add it to your playbook? Jake Clearly a touchdown. Jake, How do you respond when things aren't going your way? Can you bounce back from a slow start? Back to throw and a completion, and it's Keandre Lambert-Smith, and nearly tightrope that stayed in bounds off the push by Garnett Hollis, Jr. Lambert Smith ultimately does go out of bounds after picking up 25. And it all starts with that first completion. You need to get that to move the chain. And he's the sidecar to Drew Aller in the backfield. And it's Potts running. Nice cutback into open space and in for a touchdown. Trey Potts. First one of the season. Trey Potts, the transfer, runs it in from 13 yards out. There's your response, Penn State. There's your response. Drew Aller gets some completions, and then we're talking about the explosive runs. Well, that one was blocked for it. There comes Coco Asima, and he's down. The Hybrid athlete, very good on-ball nickel pass rusher. Here's a throw, and it's caught third down, tiptoeing down the sideline. Keandre Lambert-Smith cuts inside, and Coco Asima hangs on. Down around the ankles to prevent a touchdown. It's to the 15-yard line for 35. Look how far off Northwestern. On fourth downs this year, it's fourth and goal from one foot away to take their first lead in the game, and they push Aller into the end zone. Touchdown, Penn State. The quarterback sneak successful on fourth down and goal. Pick up the first down, but they will go for it. On fourth down, and Olgus, the tight end, looking to push Ben Bryant forward. And once again, it's another rugby scrum. You said it a minute ago, Jake, and if I may do my best, John Facenda, who would say this for NFL films, this is football. <laughs> yeah. You could almost uh, put this in black and white. When they line up in that throw, throw it in black and white. 
Ruling on the field, the runner was short wow. on the line of game. The first down drought continues for Northwestern. It's a fake. It is a fake. They've snapped it to someone in the shield who is stuck. They went with the tight end man, Cheery, and on fourth and four, he stuck one short yard short. First down, Penn State, media, timeout. Wow. And one of these apparent quarterback sneak situations last week, but they've got the tight ends lined up traditionally, and they'll flare it out, and Singleton catches it. Touchdown, Penn State. This is a great job on a number of fronts. Of course, getting the touchdown, that's key. But throughout the season, teams are scouting you. Right? Two touchdown deficit, a field goal attempt here for Jack Olson. And Olson hits his second field goal today. They've been short kicks, 20 and 28 yards. It's a two score game. Those who just tuned in, this drive started at the 40 yard line after an 18 yard punt by Hunter Renner, or 22 yard punt, that is. And now it's taken over four minutes, and it's capped with a touchdown run by Singleton. <laughs> On second down and goal to go. At quarterback. Well, Mike Yersich raved about him yesterday, and his throw is right on the money. Second time in the end zone today for Trey Potts. He's running in. He catches that pass, and the lead.